Gosh. Turn one Yeti, turn four Karen, turn five Karen again. There are some openings. I mean, that theoretically could have been dealt with. But I'd need to have a pretty good hand. And my hand was crap. Uh, Paladin. Is this gonna be an aggro Paladin? I'll hold this. I kept sort of an anti aggro paladin hand. Uh, looks like it is a control paladin, though. Hmm. Well met. Greetings, friend. Weapon would be pretty good here. Oh, defender. It's actually not too good. I'm okay with only having four mana the next turn. Oh, nice totem. In fact, I didn't actually consider this, but I should rock biter so that this doesn't get true silvered. Although he clearly does not have it, but he may have the hammer of wrath, which would not kill this because this would be at four health. I can save the Rock Rider. This play is a specific read that he doesn't have the True Silver Champion. Because it wouldn't make sense to Defender of Argus. I guess he has it though. Whatever. Genius play, apparently. I hold the Rock Rider. How can you have True Silver and not play it against an Unbound Elemental? on his side for two of mine, though of course my cards are better. I wanted to avoid playing Azure Drake against True Silver, but I have no choice here. I'll get a good trade off of that. Looks like he's got a very anti aggro deck with the uh, Earthen and the Senjin and the Kodo to an extent. Good time to play Lightning Storm. I don't think he'll have many uh, more. In fact, if I play the Azure Drake first, then I'll have a 50 50 at killing Senjin. I wonder. Which is pretty good. Good luck. Another tree silver. Off the top. Monu's off the top. Reporting for duty. Okay. We can work with that. Well played. Pass me that art light banner. <sighs> Do I Earthshock or Rockbiter this thing? I haven't drawn any hexes yet. The Earthshock is uh, quite important against Tyrion. Answer against Tyrion. All right, Fire Elemental, hit with Ooze, Totem. No, no, no Mana Tide. No, not yet. 
because then it can be consecrated. But if he consecrates, that's pretty good for me anyways. Alright, that's fine. That card looks like Elder Peacekeeper. Let me think. Peaceless first. Follow the rules. I can't afford to hex the fire elemental. I think I'll be using flame tongue. That's pretty good too. Spell damage. Good enough. Do I want a flame tongue here? Alright, it's not that much stuff. It'll help control the board. I'll hold the axe in case he's running ooze or Harrison or some such madness. It's possible. I've got the beast in my sights. Reporting for duty. My shield for Argus! Wow. Not her shocking the fire elemental. Somehow managed to dodge Big Game Hunter. I was uh, saving it for something else. Spell damage. Nice. I'm gonna keep the general mentality of against a paladin. I want to have a only slightly better board than his. And this board is already slightly better. So I'll leave it as is. It's actually significantly better. The end is coming! Reporting for duty. I'll oh, shock that. I've drawn six more cards than the opponent. The end is coming. Wow. Reporting for duty. Doomsayer was wrong again, and is not coming yet. Elements guide me. Yeah, that one was sort of right. The end came to him. Just waiting for him to do something. He'll have to soon enough. I'll commit a little bit more. No. What to do? I'm okay with taking this easy one more turn. Uh, I'm actually not. I'm drawing cards awfully fast. Probably time to kill. Second consecration. Well, that was the second world pyromancer, at least. Follow the rules. Reporting for duty. I'm almost out of cards. One, 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 18, 19, multiple. Oh my gosh, Shaman unleashed the hounds. I hope I win the next two. Win streaks, yeah. For Doomhammer, the elements will destroy you. I like that hand. I like it mostly because of the Feral Spirit. I don't know, I really like it. Mana tied behind the Feral Spirit, turn 2 totem. It's looking good. Got the ooze in case he plays turn 2 axe. Oh, that looks even better now. Turn 3 unbound, turn 4 feral. Turn 5 totem totem. Something like that. Oh my gosh, he's playing my deck. Nah, just kidding. Chat continues to suggest that I put Bloodlust in this deck. It's a valid choice, but I think they um, Glory to overthink the, the amount of times where I actually have a crazy board, because it's not that often. And Blood Knight. A nice response to Zoo if he expects to see a lot of that. Cool, I can do the Feral Spirits again. It was so good the first time, let's do it again! It's interesting, a few months ago, I'd actually considered removing the Feral Spirits from the Shaman deck, and for a while they were gone. It may not be an auto-include, but it sure does feel strong. Target for Hex. And then I have. Eh, I'll play the Mana Tide with that. Would I rather kill 0 2 or 0 1 with Taunt? 0 1 with Taunt. John Minero asks Trump which card is better to craft for control decks, Sylvanas or Ysera? Those are not on. Those aren't high on the list uh, because first you have Karen and Blood Mage Thanos sometimes. But I think Sylvanas is legit. So is Ysera. It depends on whether or not you think you'll live until turn nine. It depends on if you think you're going to be facing off against control decks, both of which uh, are good against control decks but are quite poor against Dagger. I, I don't want to do Fire Elemental on a totem, so I guess I'll Ogre. Oh yes, Ragnaros, of course. I forgot about that one. I had sort of assumed if uh, you were asking about Sylvanas or Ysera, Ragnaros was a given. Huh, Flame Tongue Totem on an empty board. I really don't like that. Mostly because uh, it's too good as removal. You do it as that, you dealt 4 damage with it. That's almost irrelevant. Uh, 
let's see. Four. He's only got two cards left. And I have two lightning storms. It's time. It's guaranteed kill. So I have uh, two mana left over. Guess it's a totem. No, oh, I should have no wish to mender first. Might have given me a better answer. Nah. Nah, this shaman is done. We have no uh, mass removal, so I can just go wild. Unless he's got Deathwing. No one has Deathwing. Didn't do anything. Oh my gosh. The desperation. Four, six. Oh wow, it's dealing five. Oh my gosh, lightning bolt just killed an eight mana creature. Now, of course, it already killed two of mine, but still. Uh, wait, can I win? Oh my gosh, that's ten damage. All right, I'll just win. Wow, the two mana pyroblast. With specific setups. I must protect the one for Doomhammer. Druid. Lightning Storm. Is this even a good card early? What am I trying to kill with it? Or the Lightning Bolt. Can kill like half of the harvest golem. That's rather extreme. Do I not want one mana removal against Druid? Haven't really even thought about this before. But I think it might be a good idea to kill it. I can't think of many cards. I mean, you'd use it in conjunction with another card to kill a Yeti. I can use it with the Pharaoh Spirit. I should keep one low cost removal. Alright, Haku uh, asks, are you planning on adding another Gadzan Auctioneer? No, one's enough. It's usually a card that you save up and use at the right time. So oftentimes people will even comment, man, you should remove that Gadzan Auctioneer from the deck. It just sits in your hand doing nothing. That's because you save it for later, it can draw you like two or three cards. It's incredible. And if you're desperate, you can always play it early. Ah, the wild growth. I hmm. must safeguard the wrath. Oh, this card's okay. I should be pretty happy keeper dealt two damage to a healing totem, I think. I generally ask uh, Trump, would you use Alakir if I had him? I would. I'm trying to get better at answering these duplicate questions. Because I understand that people are here at different times. And I should be like, okay, fine. I should answer it, even though I've answered it a few times before. Uh, let's see. I should do totem here, because next turn I can gadget, coin, lightning bolt. I considered lightning bolting. But that would leave the next turn pretty poor. I also might not gadget sand coin lightning bolt. Coin fire elemental. That's interesting. Plus if I gadget coin lightning bolt, then I will not be able to play fire elemental next turn. It might be better to just uh Unbound Lightning Bolt. Next turn, Fire Elemental. Save the Gadget and the Coin for a later time. Let's 
Dirge Bear asks, is Farsight a good card in a Shaman deck? Generally, no. You'd need a very specific plan to make that work. Major Brian asks, what about Violet Teacher or maybe even Ancient Mage? Ancient Mage is difficult because you can't count on having that many cards out. Uh, it's also bad against uh, the worst matchup of Hunter. And it's bad against Aggro because it's a constant battle to trade your guys off for his. Violet Teacher is an interesting idea and could be good in this deck. Kyle's asked, would I consider running Doomhammer? Yeah, a few uh, shamans run it. It's legit. Could be run. Uh, if I play two overload cards here, can trade. The Stormforged Axe happens to be perfect against Keeper. But I don't have another good overload card to play with it. This card can be hexed. Um, druids don't have that many big things. I'd like to save it for the Cairn, but I think mm -hmm. I'll gain a pretty big advantage by keeping up the pressure and hexing now. <sighs> I'm just hesitant against, hesitant against the Cairn to do so. But alright. I wouldn't be surprised to have Karen played against me right now, but it wouldn't be too bad. My unbound can do work against it. I must safeguard the land. Uh. Yeah, it's swipe. Not that valley. The general feeling I get from playing against this druid is that he's missing out on value here and there. And chat seems to be uh, outraged that I said druid doesn't have big stuff. I should say, the traditional way that a standard druid deck is run and built in these days, it's about 50-50 on whether or not they have Ragnaros. Ancient of War often tops off their curve. And it's not even a guarantee that they have uh, Cairn in their deck. Uh, four, six. Totem first. If I get the spell damage, I'll play Urshak. Although I did get um, Taunt Totem, might mean that Mana Tide is appropriate here. Looks like one of the few turns where I might be able to sneak in a double draw, thanks to the Taunt Totem. Sneak, sneak. Oh man, this would be quite a big swipe if he had it. Even a wrath would be quite good here. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh, that's Valley. Huh, using it on that instead of the Yeti. I think that's a close call. It's reasonable. Let's draw an extra card off of it. So Lightning Storm's pretty good here. I think I go 5, 8, 9. Uh, one of these is bound to take 3 damage. And then I can clear the board with the rest. Draw 2 cards. I Looking wonder. good. Really? Well, that sucks. Do I earth shock one of them to draw a card? Yeah, it's better to get another card. take on the druid deck. It's fun. It's 
sort of scary to leave uh, Melee Ghost up a turn, but what can I do? I don't think that's the first time I've seen a golden Melagos. Many purple lasers. Wow. What truth is my shield? Fortunately for me, it appears he's run out of spells. <laughs> Thank goodness. Alright, with the Azure Drake to Lightning Storm, it'll deal at least three damage to that Malagos. Uh, although I need to get past the Sunwalker. I think I'll need to use Flame Tongue Totem with the with the Defender of Argus. I can uh, buff that guy enough to kill that. The Wolf will deal three plus six, eight. That'll be enough. So I don't have the mana for all that. Two, four. 7 damage. It's gonna be a 50-50. Wait, it was actually a 0% chance, because I did 3 to Malagos. Oh no, wait, by playing the... the oh, that'll work. It was a 100% chance, in fact. Oh no, it was 50-50. That's nice. Mm. Oh, nice to get that one too. Okay. If he's playing cards like Malagos, I anticipate he doesn't have the uh, Force of Nature Savage Roar combo. No, it just means he doesn't have Ancient Watcher and the Sun Fury and the Defender of Argus. Which I think is a legitimate take on the game. Really, that one. Okay. On 10 mana, you play Claw. Well, that's really shady. The combo does 14 damage, which means he doesn't have it. But I wonder what the remaining cards in his hand are. That's actually very weird. I probably should have done Totem instead, but I was weirded out. Unless I should have put these on the left. Very good turn. Huh. So they're situational cards. Maybe one of the cards is Black Knight. Maybe. Hard to say. I'll do this more slightly more value. Saves myself a 3 2. In the best case. Uh, I feel like he's got something to be able to work. I'll give him the good trade. Truth is my shield. I have two choices. One is to save the hex. One is to clear my own board and use Rockbiter. That card's good enough, but we could easily play something Doomish. That'd be my second hex. Oh, I'm saving that, huh? Okay. <sighs> oh boy. Three, five. Well, that actually clears the Ragnaros. Somewhat surprisingly, oh, oh! Thank goodness I got that one, not the one one. All praise. I bring life. Wow! What a deck. Oh, that's good. In the best case scenario, that taunt totem just gained me 8 life. 
But who knows if this is the best case scenario. Oh my gosh. I get Tonto again, I guess. Or some way to deal three damage. Tonto. Ugh. Gotta clear this. I'm almost out of cards. Clearing this stuff off. Oh my gosh, the swipe. Moonfire. Didn't have to do that. Taunt! Yeah! <laughs> I think I have this somehow. I got the best deals anywhere. Oh, uh, huh? Spell damage? Oh. Oh my gosh, I did it. Play. Unless that card is Deathwing. I can see. 